What's going down, everybody? This is My Recordings. This is the first episode, and uh, this is the My Recording Show. I go by the name of uh, M. Holloway. You know me, also known as Marlon Holloway. Uh, hashtag Angry Black Man, if y'all know me out there on the social world, social media world. And um, if you heard it, the intro song that you heard, that was the God for him. If you didn't hear it, don't worry, we're going to get that on for you. And that's what we're known for here, what I'm known for doing, like playing a lot of new artists, uh, local unsigned artists as well. And, you know, we out here in Orlando, so this is how we do out here. So I like to showcase and debut a lot of people um, out here and all over. And, you know, I got a special guest with me right now. I got DJ Tonka. What's going on, Tonka? Ain't nothing, man. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate um, you taking this time to interview me. Oh. Um, I appreciate that and that's good. wish that's you the cool. best in success on what you're doing. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lovely thing, man. This is just a like I said, a test run. So right now, um if you don't know, DJ Tonka, I'll give you a little backstory real quick. DJ Tonka was on WPRK ninety one point five FM radio station. That was the Rollins College Radio, uh Street Noise and Early Vibes. We had a back to back show. And it's my, such as myself, DJ M Squid. DJ Livewire, DJ Fahaya, who was along with DJ Tonka on Early Vibe. Shout out to, to all of them. Um, but what it is is that we are basically the main DJs that were at the hip hop uh, genre of the station. So we kind of like went our ways, we resigned, and we know we started doing our own thing. And, you know, me, I got into the podcast and broadcast, which we have now. As well as Tonka, M Square, and Livewire, you know, they hit the scenes and Ron as well, or excuse me, for hire as well. They hit the scene so they could be doing their thing as well as DJ. So, you know, we took a hiatus. Everybody's doing their own thing. So now, you know, basically it's like we're we're back in a sense, you could say, and we're just kind of getting up with each other, seeing how things going, coming together like Voltron and just, you know, um, just attacking this thing like how we always usually do. It's not like we left off or fell off of where we were at. So right now, I'm going to just ask Tonka a few questions as usual. You know, we always chop it up and talk and, um, you know, just pick it up from where he's been at. So first things first, Tonka, um, when I see you, I see you all the time. Look like you done lost weight. Yes, I did. I definitely <laughs> did, man. I definitely did. Um, you looking like a Tonka truck now. Hey, I got to get it. Hey, I got to get it. I got to get it in. Definitely. Definitely. So I see you lost a little weight, brother. But um, I see you, you've you came up. I've been seeing you at a lot of spots, a lot of private events, doing your DJing thing. And um, I just wanted to know, like, what exactly is, like, the whole, what's been up with you? Like, what you've been doing for the past few, like, I guess you years. years. Yeah. <laughs> what been up with me? Just a whole lot, you know, just dealing with life, um, personal, per personal situations as well. Um, I had to uh get myself together you know it's either yeah. get myself together mentally or lose it and i can't afford to do that i have people looking up to me i have my kids my family so i had to this was a time in my life that i had to get it right right you know get get, get back on track the right way okay so, so let me ask you so when we left the station what was all in your mind as far as like the DJ standpoint? Was it like I'm gonna still continue to keep doing this DJ thing, or was it like at a point where you felt like you you gonna do other things? Because I've I've noticed that you know on social media you've been on social media very heavy doing a lot of promotions and you've been doing a lot of things as far as like you know different projects and working with different people. Outside of the DJ and like what 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 happened? After you left the station, like what was the whole big, um, what was the big adventure? I should say, the big adventure of my life was um, I had to, uh, I stopped drinking. I stopped drinking. I stopped smoking cigarettes. I haven't been drinking since two years now. Dang, I'm drinking some so, wine. I feel bad. I'm drinking wine right now. Nah, you good. You good. Okay. Um, that was definitely the biggest challenge I ever dealt with. Um. You know, people always ask me like, "How do you? How did I do it?" Because they know I was a party, party type, of, party type of guy. You know, always like to enjoy myself and all that good stuff. And right. 
there was times I never said no, you know, <laughs> when it comes down to having a good time and drinking and all that kind of stuff. But it just, it, it just caused me to, to really make some adjustments okay. in my life. Um, do I regret it? Uh, no, but I wish I would have respected a little bit more. Okay. You so, know, but, um, okay. So not to cut you off. So being that you said that you, I shouldn't say you've cut back, but you came to a, a complete stop with, you know, your alcohol intake. Yes. Was that something that, you know, when you made this decision, did you see a change in yourself? Like a not bitch. only not only just like with, with what you do doing musically and stuff. Like, did you see anything like in my personal life? I mean, uh, you, we, about you, health. Both, yeah, personal yeah, life, yes, health, yes, and it, social. It, 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 yeah. it, it definitely made a big change in my life. Um, it was because I've it's, noticed. It's like truth. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was like I felt like I was put away for a while. Mm-hmm. Like drinking and partying, and no, no disrespect to people who do that, but I just I can only speak for myself. Just coming, it's like being a put away or was away for a while, and then coming back, you know, into life and dealing things a little bit different. Yes, right. it was it was definitely a big challenge. All right, all right, because I noticed, like I said, I've noticed the change in you too as well. You've been very heavy now on the social media tip. And I mean, I, I'm on Instagram or like on Facebook, but more on Instagram. I see you're doing a lot of stuff. You're, you're doing photography now? Yes. Outside of um, DJing. DJing. You're doing <laughs> yes, photography Yes, now. yes, yes. I've been... What, 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 I've been where did that come from? Um, I've always been into <laughs> taking pictures, you know, as, as growing up. But, you know, being around, you know, your fellas, your homeboys, and you just out of the you know, out of the crew, but like, you know, I want to start taking pictures or I want to do this and I want to do fashion and modeling or whatever. Everybody's not going to agree to they, it. They they're going to laugh at it. But like, come on, are you serious? Like, yeah. you're not even tall. Yeah. You, you ain't built, you know? So it, it was just something I was like, you know, all right. I just put it to the side and just went on with life. Yeah. But as I got older and I know it, 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 it's hands-on with music and photography and videos, I'm like, you know what? Let me get my own stuff and then learn what I need to learn for myself. <laughs> so it just is just another passion. So what have you? What I have now, now that you said that you you've done film, I'm, I'm kind of jump a gun a bit. Have you done any projects with the um photography or the visuals? Because yes, I seen like a few things here and there that you've done, and you worked with some artists, I believe, out here. Yes, too. I did. Um. A uh, big shout out to uh, T Rex and Rex Live DJ. Um, I've been knowing T Rex for the minute. He invited me to his internet radio show when he was on Rewind Rewind Music. No, Rewind Rewind Music dot right. com or something like that. And right. I was his his DJ. And so, you know, I offered you know the service like you know whenever you want to get your pictures taken, just right. holla at me. He holla at me. We met up at a location, and I was taking the pictures. And um, matter of fact, we shot like a a, a skit of a video. So you called, shot, um, so like a so, trailer. So you shot like a trailer. It was actually uh, like a, a one video, minute video, video? Oh, and it okay. was in three different scenes. You can see it on Rex Media. Um, the name of the song is So. So yes, like S O S O U L. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. yeah, like so to so. Yeah, and um. So you were in a direct I just design. I just did it. I just held the camera, record. He did it in, you know, three different scenes, had yeah. different outfits, and he put it together. He edited it, he sent it to me, and I was like, wow. Wow. So not only are you DJ now, I should call you director Tonka. Huh? I wanna know I, I I wanna know it for myself. You know, I, I wanna know it for myself and I wanna do my own projects and, and, and definitely I wanna help other people as well as you, you right. know, on the video, on the visual tip, right. you know, I'm, I know how to do the editing. I've been playing with these little, these programs and edit, cut, paste, add a little, like a movie, you know, the title and you hear that everybody. So, I've just been, so, so I stay up late. Get at DJ Tonka. I stay DJ up late. Tonka, he is doing <laughs> like this times I'll be up like four in the morning, five in the morning. And I'm like, you know what? We got George I want, I want to, I want to create a new account for SoundCloud. We got George Lucas in the building. Boom, <laughs> upload it and 
Okay. Boom. So I, well, I got a lot of. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're doing that because you know what? I, I think that stems from uh, the fact that you had cut back. Yeah, it something. gave me more and time to say, myself. I won't say habits, but you're utilizing your time. And like you said, nothing against people who yeah, yeah. indulge and, you know, drink. Because I have a beverage myself too as well. But I see that that really sets you on a whole different path because when you showed me some of your photography and I seen your footage that you sent me with T-Rex, I'm like, wow, did you do this? And you're like, yeah, yeah no, well, no doubt. Yeah. And, 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 and Tonka's looking for work, y'all, because he, he's a very open and wanting to do a lot of work with people because he's always telling me this all the time. You know, even this podcast we're doing right now, he was telling me, yo, you want me to set up the camera? And I'm like, nah, not yet, but you know, Probably the next, yeah, it's the next like, I'm, episodes. I'm trigger we'll, happy. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, go ahead. I, I mentioned something about earlier that other projects that you worked on. And if you don't know everybody, Pat used to, well, sorry, Pat. No, you good. Yeah, Pat used to always get on my case about, yo, did you see this web series? Did you look at this yeah. thing on YouTube? <laughs> did you look at this this show? Yo, you need to watch this. I He used to tell me so many shows. I started getting to a point where I like, look, man, if you calling me, and tell me about a damn show, I don't hear shit about no damn show, okay? Yeah. But I see that paid off because now you're actually working with a web, a web series, series company, yes, right? Yes, yes. And you're working on one yourself. What, what, yes. how, how did that all, if you could tell me real quick, how did Okay, how it really, I, I'm always a fan. You know, yeah. I'm a fan to all the the web series I've seen. There's so many, like, it just, it's like flipping a page. Like, you just never run out of the pages. There's so many. The first web series I did uh, started watching, and my sister put me on to it. Right. Because um, most of the, most of the cast members were Haitian, and right. you know I'm Haitian too. So my sister's like, "Yo, you should check it out. They all Haitian." So I checked it out. It was on Money and Violence, and they filmed it around the way that you that you was in your yeah in yeah your in Brooklyn right, okay. in Brooklyn. Most of them is in Brooklyn, but right. they they all over they spread all out. over okay. even other states. So it's like on site location they just film it where they where they yeah out. okay and I um so I was like you know what once that was over since you're already watching you know how YouTube is or social media is if you're like this is what you watch on a regular basis like other, some related uh, yeah, yeah relate to it so other stuff started popping up right. you know other web series and um Project Heat Mm -hmm. Respect life, right. here to the throne, home to the hitters, mm. mayhem. That's in Jersey. Dang, so you, you, um, you got a bunch of them. You let's go, definitely. Let's go. And um, so I was like, okay. So what I do, you know, I, I I go on Instagram. I follow them. You know, I like they post. You know, if I'm a big a rock boy em empire, that they, they pretty big too. And you know, I show love. It's, it, it doesn't cost me anything. I repost it right. just to get people that follow me, man. Let me see what this is all about. Right, and then right. they take time to watch it. So um, there's a, a, a good brother. Uh, I'm looking to meet these um, brothers as well. But uh, a good brother by the name of Dio Official. Mm. He was um, part of Project Heat. And um, he does other different stuff too as well. Small film, upcoming films. And um, he, was on, he was on Instagram Live. And I went on, you know, I went on his, his uh, Instagram live, and he shot me out. Okay. And you gotta understand these these cast members have a large Five, fan base. Right. Like right. once they press live, they getting like a thousand, thousand twelve, thirteen hundred right. people that. viewing their page. Right. So you just say hello, what's up, my brother? It's like it's gonna go so fast, they ain't even catch it. Right. So he 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 caught me saying, "What's up?" Oh, DJ Talk, it was good, my brother. You know what I'm saying? That 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 you know that felt good. Like, okay, cool, that's what's up. And I asked him, um, I would like to interview him on my mix show. I right. get to that. And um he gave me his number. I talked to him on the phone and he always gave me some encouragement words. And um he was part of Let's Go season two. Um so Let's go out, you know, I asked them if they was coming to Orlando. Okay. And it was like, they're going to be in the South. And out of coincidence, they had a YouTube promo about if you want to be a part of Let's Go Family, mm -hmm. Let's Go South. They got Let's Go Africa. Wow. They're working on a mixtape in Africa. So the South was like Texas, Virginia, Georgia, 
and um, I oh, submit. So, I, so, so let me uh, and not cut you. So, mm-hmm. so you submitted and yeah, I sent them that, an email. They gave me an email and they and I sent them an email. I told them that Dio official um, is a good brother, and um, they hit me back. They got the email and they gave me the green light. So I'm part of Let's Go Let's Go South. Wow, okay. Um, Out of so, all the southern states or just like for Florida or just like that? So uh, they're, 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 as a DJ, visit. I'm I'm the only one in Flo- Florida. Uh, uh, yeah, Florida or okay. Orlando. Wow. Um, they got other people, I guess, doing other different things because they was looking for street team, um, street promotion, you know, all that stuff. So, so that's what? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go south, but it's let's go for life. Okay. That's, so that's the web series. So that's, that's the, the YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay. All right. And they yeah. out of uh, Brownsville, Tilden. All right. Definitely. We, we so they're working on season three in we, July. We definitely so. have to. Um, I really. That. You know, and congratulations on yeah, that. Yeah. You know, that's, that's a real big. Like, that's a big I was step like, from. you know, they sent me a shirt, you yeah. know, through the mail. I got it over, you know, like in three days. And it was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I'm part of a team. Right. Okay. And, um, so, so that kind of goes in hand in hand for you too, as well as you you doing the DJing, you reach out to them on the music tip, and then the way it sounds like they have an idea that you do photography. And you yeah, 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 okay. yeah. You know, one thing about social media, if you're out there, people are paying attention to you. Yeah, and, regardless, they may not say much, but people are paying attention right. to you. And, and you know, and I have to admit, this this what we're doing here, this platform. I mean, it's been a long time, you know, overdue because. Everybody's been always asking me, "When's the podcast coming out? When you gonna get back on the air?" When you yeah, and, and I, I and, always tell you, I always and, tell and, you that and, too as well. So it, it really was, it was really, it was really tough, you know. And I have to, I have to admit, it was really tough for me at the time because I was just kind of like want to make sure it's perfect. That was yeah. my problem. I was, I was having and that, that sometimes not to cut you off, but that word, I deal with it sometimes. Yeah, it's like if it's not perfect. You can't put it out. I can't put it out. Right. That's just and, my and, nature. Yeah. Like, um, when you know my mix show, um, I record anywhere. I have it recorded at the uh, at the park. Okay. Now speaking of mix show, what is this? Because you mentioned it earlier. Your mix yeah. show. What? What? what I have it? a mix show every Thursday from seven p.m. to nine p.m. on mixing. On mixing at IBNX. It's on IBNX Radio. Mm-hmm. Dot com, but it's the mixing station because they got different stations. Right. So I have a mix show every Thursday. Um, it's on my Instagram at DJ Tonka under uh, underscore one. Um, all the information is on there. So there was times I have recorded my show at the park. <laughs> I recorded my show in my vehicle, set up, plugged up, had power. Like and you just mix it right I, there and just mix. Wow. So I just did my. I just did an interview yesterday for uh, the uh, the CEO of Let's Go for Life, um, C Class, C Class. You can follow him on Instagram. It's C C Class Avenue on Instagram, and um, I did a phone interview um, yesterday. Matter of fact, right. So, so wow, they so, have clothing. Uh, let's go clothing. They got everything on so, Instagram. Tommy, you've been kind of you've been kind of busy. You know, like like I, I shouldn't say the past year or two, but looking at all this build built, you know, I, I see that you you've done a, a lot. Yeah, it's you know with because I feel like it was like so long ago we was on the air, but then like within that time, you know, it looks like you've done a lot for yourself, and not saying in a bad way, but it looked like. Besides DJing, you just didn't hold that over your head and use that hat. You just look like you branched off and said, besides this DJing and music thing, I'm going to do other, take other avenues to, to, to market myself, my brand, and the company that I have, you know, to make it a bigger and better thing. Um, besides the DJing, your web series and all that, like, what are you looking forward to to get your hands involved with? Because I see that, you know, you've done the DJing, you've done the photography, you're doing a little bit of filming. Is it just to perfect it more, or are you looking to do other things as well? Other things um, is always a, a opportunity, definitely. Um, just being discovered. Just mm. being discovered for who I am. Right, right. right. You know, um, besides the music, just being involved with uh, charity events, fundraisers, 
um, helping for a cause, like stuff in the community. Yes, I I, I would love to do that. Yeah, because I've I've been to a lot of live concerts and events, and I've been seeing you out there a lot with your camera, actually. Yeah, matter and, of fact, and, and I'm like, what your DJ say? You're like, man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm filming. I'm, I'm I'm like um I'm taking pictures they, today. They have a charity challenge they do once a year in Orlando. Yeah, and um, DJ Fahaya, he he's the main DJ of the event, but I rock out with him. Right. So last year, um, I was out there with the video taking pictures, networking, and I met this lady. Um, she's the founder of Tunnel for Tower. Mm-hmm. And um, they have like a 5K run and walk at Crane's Roof. So I went there this year. Well, last year I went there, and I was on Instagram Live. I was on Facebook Live. I have a Ustream account. I have a Periscope, but I didn't turn my Periscope on. Yeah, but... you got too much photography on it, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just, I try to, I try to, I have a to I have a Ustream. It's Hit The Streets Live. Mm-hmm. I use my regular Instagram. I have Facebook now. Um, and Periscope. A lot of platforms. And Snapchat. A lot of so platforms. I, I try to use yeah. it all, you know. Not too, yeah, you, you put in that work. I don't, I don't. I don't play with it like, you know, videotaping me eating right. or cursing somebody out. I don't, I'm, so, I'm not, I'm using this for, for, for business. business. Yeah. So that's, that's why I kinda... So let me ask you, um, what is like something that you experience or what advice you could give to everybody from what you experienced that got you to the point where you're at right now, where, um. What 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 what's some like words of wisdom you could give some the people? world of uh, the word of wisdom so, that so what you experience like you know like with you know this um, that we have here. Wow, that's a, that's anytime now, Tom. No, 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 definitely. I ain't gonna take up too much of your time, <laughs> yeah, but no, for me, and hopefully other people could relate to. Um, everybody have. A purpose. Everybody has a passion. Mm. Um, hopefully, everybody has a passion. But you get to a point in your life that you have to step back and look at, just look at your life. Mm. You know, it could be your relationship. It could be your job. It could be your environment, where you live at. Right. You get to a point that you're, like, tired of doing certain things mm, mm, right, right you know right. and i got to a point that i was tired i was tired of getting too wasted right. you know so this was a this was definitely my time to be like you know what maybe i just need to get off of this let this go uh, was it a battle after that yes it was um it was a tough battle, but at the same time, it got me to be more focusing on what yeah. Patrick wants, wants to do, what yeah. DJ Tonka wants. Right, right. DJing had always been my thing. I never stopped thinking about DJing, but it made me think about doing things the right way, the the professional way. Right. You know, and also at the same time, people that's not really your friends. It makes you. It just clear your mind, mm. and I'm and I'm happy and I'm thankful for it because I'm more, I'm, my mind is clear. Okay. You know, usually when you know when I'm intoxicated, my mind may say, "Yeah, let's go stop over here. I'm gonna go do go over there. Something may be going on that day." But it's like I'm clear now. It's like when I'm nah. Let me just go home. Right. Well, you know, well, I'm not gonna deal with this person, and I had cut quite a few people. Um, out of my circle because they wasn't really my friend. They was there to just use me. So I kind of, yeah. you know. Well, well I'm going to have to say something, Tom. I, I do see a big change and difference in you and not just because of, you know, you, you cut back on a few things, but like your projects and stuff that you're working on. I would tell you, keep up the good work, you know, keep doing your thing. You know, I'm, I'm very happy with, with the path that you're taking. And, you know, people can get to hear and see another side of you as well, you know. So, um, 
go ahead and like let the people know like where they could reach you at you know your contacts how have you had people to contact you and um like i said um that's the best way you know the, the to, to let people get across to you as well. I see that it's, it's working as well. So if you got any shout outs or any um, things to anybody out there, just let, let them know. Yeah, definitely. Um, pretty soon, um, it's still it's still in the works right now. I may be on another platform, um, 98.2, The Beat. Okay. It's an internet radio station based out of uh, Los Angeles, uh, LA, California. Cali. So that's my Cali. Um, uh, DJ King Assassin. King Assassin. Yeah. Okay, okay. Dang, um, all right. Yeah, he... I've been reaching out to this guy through all the social medias that I knew. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, his old phone number, and this dude finally hit me up this now week. You did. Now and, you did. and I was like, you know, you still have openness? He was like, definitely, Tonka, like you regular. So that's 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 going to be pretty soon. Okay. Um, Definitely, I'm going to give a shout out to the, the whole Let's Go For Life family. Let's Go South. Here's to the throne. Um, Dio Official, you, oh, M. Holloway, DJ For Hire, um, my family, you know, keep God first, and that's, that. that's basically it. Yeah. But um, yeah, also, my that. Instagram yeah. is uh, at DJ Tonk underscore one. Um, if you want to hit me up for any parties or if you want to get some pictures taken, um, hit me on my Instagram, send me a DM at DJ Tonk underscore one. Okay. Um, I be on Snapchat every now and then, <laughs> but Instagram just take up my yeah, whole time. So, take it over. You know, I, I try to dib and dab a Snapchat every every once in a while. Right. Um, Snapchat DJ Tonka or Hit the Streets Live on Snapchat. Then my YouTube channel, Hit the Streets Live. Oh, so let them know when you hit the streets. Is what is it? You said Thursdays. Yeah, Hit the Streets make shows every Thursdays from seven p.m. To 9 p.m. Okay. Eastern time. That's what it is. You can get and the talking. link is on my Instagram. I always put it there. So, right. and so just click on so it. So everybody can get a hold of your mix and listen to your mix oh. and everything. Yeah, just hit me. Yeah, I got so much. I got yeah. um I got mix. Um I got um Castbox FM. You could check out my previous mix show. It's Castbox FM. Um you could check out my my promos. On mixcloud.com forward slash DJ Tonka. Man, you get more the platforms. Um, huh? <laughs> of course, SoundCloud. Um, I have Hit the Streets Live on SoundCloud. You can hit me on Hit the Streets. Uh, make sure I have a SoundCloud on that. Okay, so basically you put that all in your social. But everything, media. yeah, everything yeah. is everything's okay. on my Instagram. That's you what know, it is. I always repost. I try to get more people to subscribe. So I stay, I stay at that all the time. Every yeah. old mixes yeah. I have, I still throw it back yeah. out. Good. Look, Check it out. download it, subscribe and share it. I got, I just put a mix the other day on SoundCloud. It's called uh, DJ Tonka Freestyle Mix. Well, Mixtape. It's like some Stevie B cover girl. It's, it's you, a whole you like just, a, you just did. You just, it's like it's like I have time. Everybody. It's like I have time. Yeah. I have time to. Do what I want to do, and right. I don't have to answer to nobody. Okay. If I want to put a mix out tonight, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. I know how to record it. Boom, upload it. Boom, go listen to it. So, it um, next month I'm gonna work on the Soka in the City. This is gonna be my third year. So you doing that just in time for the Memorial yeah. weekend for the Carnival out here in Orlando? I I I usually do it between May or Memorial Day. Okay. I know carnivals well, around, I'll so be, it's gonna be so good. I'll, city. I will be looking forward to hear that. It's gonna be the third year, good. third year. So good in the city. city. I, I I put it together. I like man. that. That's sex in the city, but so good in the city. city. That's what it so, is. So Tonka, I like to thank you once again. I thank I you. you. I appreciate, I appreciate you. you for coming through. Um, this is a recording of my recordings uh, with, with me here in Holloway. I uh, had DJ Tonka here with me, and like I said, you're gonna be hearing more of these recordings. In this show, um, if you want to get at me on Instagram, it's at that, that, that's T-H-A-T-S, that's Marlon Holloway, or you could get me at ma.media.pro on Instagram as well. So we'll be posting this up on iTunes, so y'all just type in my recordings and it'll post up the second episode, the first episode. 
And like I said, if you have any suggestions, information, or if you want to book anything, hit me up at mailmymedia at gmail.com. That is mailmymedia at gmail.com. I, I reached that 30-minute marker, so I'm out. Peace. Peace.